Peter Huxtable here and good to share with you the second of my short videos taking a last look inside the treasure trove of all that's worth cherishing and celebrating in the life of the parish of Stapleford. I'm here in the church hall, maybe not as beautiful as where I stood in the first video in church, but in here all sorts of stuff has happened to do with enjoying helping children and young people into an understanding of Jesus and how to follow him. Yes, our second piece of treasure, if you like, are children and young people. Yes, this is the venue where we have staged lots of regular larger events in here, such as Messy Church, uh, which is now approaching 10 years old. And also, of course, Holiday Club. Our weekly term time Tuesday break for the toddlers and their parents has been first class too. These and other groups have extended the welcome to children and families out further than just our normal services ever did. Then we've hosted our regular week in, week out Sunday school and energize and encounter our church groups for our children and young people. And that's been so amazing over the years. The Harby weekend always have been memorable times too. The links with St John's School and other schools have been great as well, with the assemblies we've done and the visits to church. As the number of children and young people have increased, so has the number of adults involved in sharing time and energy and faith with them. It's said that it takes a village to raise a child. And this is true of church. It takes a whole church community to raise children in the Christian faith. The huge volunteer effort to make this a reality has been such a joy to be part of here. So many people have stepped up at different times and led and helped with events and groups with much creativity and flair. So many, many thanks to every one of you. Just take a look inside our storeroom to see the place stacked with all the resources. A bit untidy at the moment, but it shows just how much we use the stuff and how many groups are trying to access resources, the tables to set up and to set down each time. And it's all been worth it because we want to pass on the treasure of knowing Jesus to a new generation. Psalm 145 says, Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. His greatness no one can fathom. One generation commends your works to another. They tell of your mighty acts. They speak of the glorious splendour of your majesty. That's what we're about. One generation handing on the treasure to another. Right now, I believe our children and young people are taking the biggest hit from this virus. Not only they can't come to church groups, but the whole of their childhood and education and significant stages in their lives has been stolen away. So more than ever, when the threat of the virus has receded, the whole church here in Stapleford will be needed to help raise our children and young people's faith once more. I wonder, will you step up and take a role with our youth and children in 2021? It's not the time just to assume someone else will do it. You may have hung back from volunteering recently, maybe you feel you've done your stint. But more than ever, now is the time our children and young people need mentoring and befriending and leading to having a living faith of their own. When the invitation comes out around to join in this work when we're back together again properly, what role will you take in discipling of a new generation? It's been a privilege to be part of this of all this, my time here as vicar, and my prayer is that God will continue to bless all the sharing of faith amongst the younger generations in this parish. Thank you very much.